Hey Seeksters, hope you are well and that you are staying home and safe. So today's video is going to be a mini haul as the title says. I had a few things on my spring wish list that I was able to check off. And so without further ado, let's get into this video. First up, ASOS. At the beginning of every season, I take the time to research the trends, then do a closet edit and combine my findings to create a wish list. If you watched my spring summer trends video, which I would link below, you would know that I talked about some of the top color trends for spring summer 20. One of those top colors was orange, but I noticed that I didn't have much of it in my wardrobe. So I was on a mission to add more orange pieces to my closet. I absolutely love this color. It looks so great on dark skin. And it's just a fun color to wear overall. I knew exactly what I was on the lookout for, which was cute dresses and tops. Now this blazer popped up and immediately caught my eye. After checking it out, I decided mm, that it wasn't quite what I was looking for, mainly because of how it fit the model. Blazer dresses tend to be boxy and tricky when you carry more weight around the bottom like the model. But then I remembered that I had seen another blazer, which actually was the reason why I went to PLT in the first place. So I decided to add that to cart. So the first thing we're gonna try on is this cream thick ribbed tie waist wrap dress. As soon as I saw the dress, I saw the crisscross detailing in front. I saw the belt. I knew that it would be added to my cart. I love wearing all white. I think it's super chic, very sophisticated, but white can be tricky when you have curves. Now I suspected this dress would work because, because of its full wrap style and the belt. When I am shopping for all white pieces, I have to always factor in my style ABCs. I wouldn't call this a sweater dress per se, but it is made out of a heavier, ribbed fabric and if you're in between sizes i recommend sizing down as you can see the dress is a bit on the looser side on me as soon as i saw this orange lace dress i knew it was at the cart especially because of the price i'm wearing this here in a size 14 so i would definitely say that this dress has some room in it has a little bit of of a give to it. It's made out of a jersey style fabric. I simply decided to pair it with some slides and a wicker bag. This dress would be perfect for vacation. You know, if you decided to take advantage of some of the great flight deals that are happening right now. It would also be great for brunch with friends in the city. You could pair it with a pair of heels and even wear it to a I was gonna say a spring wedding, but <laughs> a summer wedding perhaps. Um, the style to me is timeless, so whether I wear it this year or next year, I know that I can continue to pull it out of my closet. Only thing to note about this dress is that you would definitely need a plunge style bra for this dress just because the front is quite low cut. I personally love it because it cinches in around the waist and it's pretty loose everywhere else. So it's perfect for brunch or just on days where you're feeling a little bloated and or days you just want to indulge. Now, I got so many questions about this dress when I posted this. This was one of the dresses that were, was kind of in the running for Easter, but you know, if you're following me on Instagram, you, you know what I ended up wearing on Easter day. Easter was such a relaxing day this year. I streamed my service. I just ate and binge watched some of my favorite shows. Comment down below with what you're currently watching. So what makes this dress really cool? It's also in a size 14. And you guys know I'm not a size 14. I am a size 16, 18 on a good day. 
However, what makes this dress work is simply because it is customizable. This is a traditional fit and flare silhouette, which is flattering on most body types. And so I know one, I'm gonna be able to wear this dress for seasons to come because it's a classic shape. But two, the cutout detail adds a little bit of fun and makes it quite fresh for now. I decided to pair it with simple accessories. These shoes tick all of the spring summer 2020 trend boxes. It is a thong style, a square toe, and it wraps around the ankle. And I think I got it for like $15. If you have not checked out my spring summer shoe guide, I will put a link to that video down below. So <laughs> this next dress, I feel like it's gonna be a hit or a miss. I bought this dress this vacation and mind, it is the perfect, let me walk around Pull them in my bikini or swimsuit dress. It buttons down all the way to the bottom so you can easily wear this as cover up as you lounge by the pool or on your way to the beach. But it's also super airy and light. It has absolutely no shape. It looks like a night dress. So if I were to wear this in the city or anywhere else but vacation, I would put a belt around it just to give the dress a little bit of definition. If you really want to make this dress, it's going to be all about the accessories. As you can see, I stacked a bunch of bangles together. I pulled out my wicker bag. I'm pairing it with my leopard flats. So this dress is basically like a blank canvas that you can accessorize to fit whatever theme you're in the mood for. All right, the dress, the dress that made me place this order. Special thanks to Pretty Little Thing, by the way, for sending me these pieces. I initially spotted this dress last summer. I ordered it and, and it was too big. So if you're gonna order this dress, I and you're in between sizes, I would definitely size down. The only issues I have with this dress is the fabric choice and the finishing. So if you're getting the dress on 50 or 60% off sale, which it seems like Pretty Little Thing has going on continuously, then definitely take the plunge. Overall, the color of this dress for me makes up for all of its shortcomings. Next up is the puff sleeve mesh top. Something about this print really caught my eye. It's green, it has yellow in it, it has purple in it, and black and cream. I've seen it in a dress, I've seen it in a skirt, I've seen it in a different top with full sleeves, perfect to pair with jeans like the model did. I decided to pair it with my denim skirt, perfect dressy yet casual top. You can pair it with jeans like the model did and some pumps and I'm wearing it here in an extra large. I would definitely say this is true to size, so buy your true size. So one thing I've had my eye on for years was for a brown leather skirt. I couldn't quite find one in my price point and size until now. I am obsessed with this skirt. On the site, the skirt looks a little bit more cognac. I would say in real life, the color is a little bit more muted. I just paired it with a simple t-shirt and some pumps. This is a skirt that would be perfect to wear to work, to church. You could even wear like a dressier top and wear it to a wedding, like maybe a lace top. You could do a lot with this. I, I ordered this skirt in a size 18, but realistically, I probably could have fit a size 16. Let's recap. Let me know which one of these pieces were your favorite.
If you're looking for more style videos, check out this video. If you're looking for more hauls, you can also check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.